There are 178 laws that differentiate on the basis of sex. Women can't work overtime. We have to get credit cards in our husband's name. We're not allowed to work in mine. Something so this is amazing. You think you can change the country? You should look to her generation. They're taking to the streets. Protests are important, but changing the culture means nothing if the law doesn't change. Who did you say your name was? Ruth Bader Ginsburg. I want to be a lawyer. I want to represent clients in pursuit of justice. So they're going to give you a corner office? I wasn't what they were looking for. One said women are too emotional to be lawyers. Another told me a woman graduating top of her class must be a real ball buster. I worked hard, I did everything I was supposed to, and I excelled. Martin Ginsburg will be signing all of our checks someday. <laughs> You're a smart girl, Ruthie. You married a star. If the law differentiates on the basis of sex, then how will women and men ever become equals? I don't read tax court cases. Read this one. The law assumes a caregiver has to be a woman. This is sex-based discrimination against a man. Poor guy. We need to take this case. This is not a case. This is a declaration of war. They could topple the whole damn system of discrimination. They think gender equality is a civil right. What's at stake is the American family. Let's put this idea to bed once and for all. You will lose. And when you do, you will set the woman's movement back 10 years. You don't get to tell me when to quit. I know this case disrupted our lives. Who's it for if not for me? You cannot leave. You've been ready for this your whole life. So go in there and let the judges see the Ruth Ginsburg I know. We're not asking you to change the country. That's already happened without any court's permission. The word woman does not appear even once in the U.S. Constitution. Nor does the word freedom. Your Honor.